Okay guys, in this video I'm going to be watching a video of uh, 10 things you're doing wrong, but I got one right here. So, you know chocolate coins, right? I got one of these. It's a 50 cents coin. Wait, let me get it the right way for you guys. It's a 50 cents coin, eh? But it's gold. So that's one thing that they messed up making the chocolate coins. And on the other side, it's upside down, so, look, so it's that way, right, if I flip it over, not spinning it or anything, wait, no, it's supposed to be that way for me, it's upside down, and if I turn it, you guys, it's the right way, right, if I turn it again, there, it's upside down, yeah, anyway, let's get into the video. Foxverse presents 10 Everyday Things You've Been Doing Wrong. But yeah, and guys, I just realized another one. When you take off this head part, this is what it looks like underneath. It doesn't have the head, it just has some lines. So that's really good. No, wait. Your body pin's okay. wrong. Most people wear their bobby pins with the wavy side up. This is a mistake. There is a flat side for a reason. The flat side will push your hair down flat so that nobody will be able to see the bobby pin. It may seem easier to put the wavy side on top, but it is the wrong way. Number two, you're cutting your watermelon wrong. This is one of the many everyday things you've been doing wrong. Most people cut their watermelon in slices and they set them out to eat. This is not the best way to cut a watermelon. Cutting the watermelon in slices will get juice all over your face and chin. The best way to cut a watermelon is to cut it in half, then slice it in a grid. You'll still have rind at the bottom that will allow you to hold the watermelon, and you won't get it all over your face. Also, you'll get many more pieces when you cut it in a grid rather than in slices. Also, you can leave the watermelon face down on the cutting board for serving, which will keep it juicy and keep the flies away. Number three, you're eating your cupcakes wrong. Most people don't know how to eat a cupcake. The typical way to eat a cupcake is to remove the wrapper and bite into the cupcake. While this method works, after the first few bites, you won't have any frosting left. It will be just cake. If you do have frosting left, you'll have it on your nose or chin. If you learn to eat the cupcake properly, it will be cleaner, and you'll get a bite of frosting in every bite of the cupcake. You should peel off the wrapper first, like you normally do. Next, tear off the top half of the cupcake gently. Then, turn the cake over and put the cupcake back together, frosting side down. It'll look like a sandwich, and it is a much better method of eating the cupcake. Number four, you're holding your wine glass the wrong way. Most people hold a glass of wine by wrapping their hand around the glass. This is a mistake. If you wrap your fingers around the glass, you can leave fingerprints on the glass. This can make it difficult to assess the wine's color. Also, if you grip your glass by the stem, it makes it easier to swirl your wine. When the wine is swirled, it draws more oxygen in, allowing the aromas from the wine to be released. The last reason that you should not wrap your fingers around the wine is that you'll warm it up. When it's warm, the alcohol evaporates quicker. Holding the glass by the stem is the best way to drink your wine. Number five, you're wearing your earbuds the wrong way. Most people have been wearing their earbuds wrong and they don't even know it. If you're like most people, you'll put the earbuds in your ears and allow the wire to hang down and connect to your phone or iPod. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to do something earlier. Really. They don't even know it. If you're like most people, yes, you'll sir. put the earbuds in <laughs> your ears and allow the wire to hang down and connect to your phone or iPod. When you do this, the device that the earbuds are connected to puts weight on the earbuds, causing them to pop out of your ears. If you put your earbuds in and wrap them up and over the back side of your ear, the cord will stay secure and in position because your ear is keeping the pressure off the earbuds. Number six, you may have been holding your pen wrong all these years. If you've always struggled with poor penmanship, it could be you're holding the pen wrong. Most people will hold the pen up too high making it more difficult to control the pen the way that you actually want it to go. Holding the pen closer to the bottom will give you the control that you need. You should also consider how tightly you're holding the pen. If you 
you hold it too tight, your hand will tire quickly, making your penmanship worse. Also, you may not be able to move the pen the way you need to if you're squeezing the pen. Holding your pen close to the bottom with a loose grip will make it easier to write for a longer period of time, and your penmanship will improve. Number seven, you've been eating pizza wrong. Chances are you've been eating pizza since you were a small child. You open the box, grab your slice, and you start eating. This can be difficult if you're eating a large slice. The pizza can flop, the toppings can fall off, the cheese can slide off, pizza and the grease will saying. run down your arm or your chin. If you want to eat your pizza without making a huge mess or losing the best parts, you should fold it in half when you eat it. This will keep everything together while you enjoy every cheesy, delicious bite. Number eight, you're keeping your apples wrong. Most people have gone their whole life eating their apples from the side. From the first day of preschool, when you took the apple from your lunchbox, you have likely been doing this. The reason that no, you eat the apple from the side is so that you don't bite into the core. What you don't know is that the apple core is just a myth. If you eat your apple from the bottom up, there will be no core left behind. You'll need to spit out the seeds, but you'll be able to eat the whole apple. When you eat your apple from the side, you're wasting a third of the apple. Number nine. You've been eating you chicken wings the wrong way. The if you're like most people, you grab a chicken wing from the plate, dip it into the sauce of your choice, and take a bite right off the bone. This is a mistake. Not only are they more difficult to eat, they're also messy. After eating the wing, you can end up with sauce around the sides of your mouth, sometimes as far as your cheeks. To properly eat your wings, you should turn them into a boneless nugget. First, find the end with the protruding cartilage and tear it off. This should loosen up the bone so that you can wiggle this smaller bone and pull it out. You should do the same for the large one, and you'll have just wing meat left. You also won't need a stack of napkins to wipe your mouth after eating each wing. Number 10. You may be brushing your teeth wrong after all these years. Chances are you've been brushing your teeth the wrong way for years. There are a few steps that you should follow. Use a high-quality toothbrush. Softer is better than harder. Don't press too hard on the brush while brushing. Don't brush right after a meal. It can wear down the tooth's enamel. Don't eat right after brushing. Divide your mouth into four parts and brush each part for 30 seconds for a total of two minutes. Don't ignore the gum line. Keep your toothbrush clean. Subscribe for more. Yeah, so guys, that's going to be all for the video. If you did like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If this is the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing.